Hello everyone, this is Dr. Victoria Scarbo, speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. And um, I've been um, thinking about the um, inauguration um, situation, um, the money for the inauguration, um, and the issues around the Trump inauguration and uh, where the money went and how it was spent and um, who gave it to them and uh, was it to curry favor, and et cetera, et cetera. So of course it was, isn't it always? Um, but um, it was by, you know, perhaps foreign governments, things like that. So I just want to take a look at that whole situation. I feel as though uh, that's another can of worms that will be opened and uh, for us to uh, look at, and I want to see what the courts have to say about that situation. And it seems like um, Ivanka might be uh, sort of waist deep in this crap, as it were. So let's just see what these cards say about that. It's sort of uh, just been meandering in my brain. So we'll see if there's any information we can glean from these cards. I'm using the Tower of the Spirit again because it happens to be the one in my uh, dining room. <laughs> it's not generally when I use it, questions like this, but it's cold out and I don't feel like going down to the office quite yet <laughs> until I put my long johns on. It's really cold and, and windy and that's never a good combination for me anyway. Okay, so I'm cutting the cards now. So this is the situation around the inauguration and what that's going to bring up. Ah, oh, fear. Okay, so people are really nervous about this. See that? Yep. Um, this is the five of of um, the five of swords, and uh, the five of swords is uh, unfair practices and um, and. Um, you know, I think there's a definitely a nervousness around around this whole situation. I think a lot of people uh, are involved in this, and so uh, and I think it's not unusual for a lot of people to be involved in the inauguration stuff anyway. But um, I think maybe even some people who would normally do it and not have a problem with it um, are going to have a problem because it's connected to Trump and all the, you know, all the the stuff that comes along with that. It's as if, um, in his own way, Trump is a, a, a barometer of moral uh, righteousness. <laughs> and he brings out the worst in everybody. It's really kind of interesting how that works. Okay, let's see what's crossing this. Okay, this is the Three of Swords. This is uh, can be heartbreak, it can be tr betrayal. There is a sense of betrayal here. Um, but this card in this deck is called Recognition. So something's being recognized. Okay. So those are two not-so-nice cards. There's a lot of uh, mental anxiety and anguish over this. Let's see what's at the root. Okay, this is the... Um, the King of Swords in this deck. It's the Father of Wind. Um, I think this is, at the root of it, is the legality of the situation. The King of Swords is often associated with things like lawyers and police officers. So there is a, there is a question of legality here. Let's see what's in the past. Okay, this is the King of, of Cups. This could be Putin. There could be uh, Russian money in this. But this is also uh, the shadow vibration of Donald Trump. And Donald Trump is somebody who uh, does not have... Um, it's all about him. This is a 37-1 vibration. As a shadow, you can be very narcissistic. And that narcissism actually um, blinds you to how you affect people and what the consequences of your actions can be. So we definitely have that. And so there's this also this sort of wave of emotion coming up in the past. Okay, let's see what's in the sky. The Ten of Cups. Okay, the Ten of Cups is uh, joy and happiness and, and such celebration, perhaps. It's called the Fountain of Love. Some, this is the Ten of Cups. 
some readers see this as the GOP and their sort of illusionary um, sensibility of, you know, a, a nuclear family with two point whatever three children, you know, and the yard and the fence and the, you know, everything's lovely. Um, well, in fact, everything is going to, to shit. All right, let's see what's in the future. Okay, victory. This is um, the victory at what cost, at what price. What did this victory, what did this maybe this electoral victory, even though he didn't quite win, but he's in. Um, what is it costing? What's, what's, the, what's the price of that? So perhaps we will get uh, illuminated as to what the cost of this is for us. Not simply in money, but in, in uh, what is created. What other things it's created in its wake. How it's seen from the outside. Yeah, sorrow, unhappiness. I see these as, as the three, the three um, Trump kids. And then these two in the back as the children from other mothers. So these are Ivana's kids right here. And then we have Baron and Tiffany, which are, you know, the children of other women. So, but I feel like the core, I feel like there's a spilling out. Um, things are going to be uh, lost to his children because of this. Okay, let's see what's uh, the... Um, the domestic situation. This should be interesting. Okay, we have the fire. So this is the 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 um, king of fire. I feel as though uh, they're going to take. They're going to try to take an action. They're going to actually be aggressive on some level around this. Um, and I believe this is the family, the Trump family. So they're going to they're going to fight it aggressively. Okay. Let's see the hopes and fears. This is the sister of fire. This is messages. This is card of messages. It's the uh, the page of uh, wands in other decks. So it is about messages. Um, it's a very fiery card. And if you can see this, we have a woman dancing and there's a tiger. Um, so there's a lot of um, there's a lot of energy to this card. I also feel as there's, there's another female involved here, something about another female. It's not Ivanka, uh, but another female. I think it's a female outside of the family. I know she had uh, a friend, or maybe that was Melania's friend, who did some work for the inauguration. And then they were, um, I think she got upset with them and, and they were fired or something. So I don't know, that, that could be that woman. So she might actually be some, some sort of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Some kind of, sort of witness or somebody that they're going to talk to about this. Let's see the outcome of the world. So this is going to have an outcome. There's going to be an ending to this. And what exactly, um, that I think we're going to get to the bottom of this. And this is going to, uh, and something's going to come of it. That's what I would say here. Let's see what's at, and exactly what's going to come of it, I don't know. Let's see what's at the bottom. We're going to see through the chaos. We're going to see through the chaos. I want to see what is actually going to come of this. I'm going to use that, the universe card, the last card I picked, um, this one here. And we're going to just start a new reading on it. Okay, so what is the outcome? What is the outcome of this? We see that there is an outcome, but what is the outcome? Okay. Oh, okay. This is at the bottom. So this is loss. This is great loss. It, it's also monetary loss. Um, anxiety. So, uh, yes, yeah, so we have monetary loss crossed by um, anxiety. Bad dreams, things like that. What's at the root? The brother of wind. This is ill-considered uh, action. Ill-considered action. So they didn't really think it out. They, I think what it was is they kept thinking in terms of how we're going to make the most of this uh, financially. 
because that's really their mo, right? The the Trump the Trump people, the Trump organization, the Trump family. They didn't take into consideration that now this is a whole new like level. This is a whole new playing field. This is not this is not the streets of New York, and this is or the streets of Moscow for that matter. And this is not. Um, real estate. This is the president of the United States and it's much more controlled and restricted. The past, the past would be the clarity around the situation. Okay. In the sky, the hanged man. So there's powerlessness here. And then the sister of wind, which is about the, the uncovering of the truth. So um, this does not look good. This looks like it's another um, sort of nail in the coffin, in a way, of the Trump money or monies. So this does not look good for the, for the Trumps, as it were. Okay, so um, this is a big deal. You know, Rachel Maddow said it uh, maybe as long as a year ago when she was ta talking about this. So um, what happened? Where'd the money go? What's, what's going on? Really, I think that this whole situation with having Trump as president is a way for us to, uh, for, for, the, for the, the illegality and the, the back channels and the, and the games that the very, very rich play. And in a way, um, you know, Trump talked about draining the swamp. In a way, he's doing that. But he's doing it in such a way um, that it's not a you know, you're, you're wrong, <laughs> but he brings out everybody's uh, greediest qualities, including his own. So, uh, it's very interesting to see how this is all panning out, but, um, it, there will be consequence to this. And I feel like there'll be more consequence perhaps to his children than to him directly, but there's, but you know, that will hurt him as well. So not that I'm interested in pointing out all the things that will hurt him because he hurts himself. Uh, plenty, plenty fine without my help. <laughs> All right. Like and subscribe. If you have any questions or other things you want me to look at, let me know. I'll do my best to get around to them. Have a great day and I'll see you again soon. Bye.